Hi Hyderabad, this is Ruthvika from The Little Text. Today we have another amazing woman entrepreneur who co-founded an organization called The Life is Craft and uh, she is Miss Nandini. Let's hear it up from her. So Nandini, how did you come up with Life is Craft? So Life is Craft, um, I've been around all my yoga teachers and yoga, uh, yoga yogis and yoginis and I've seen all the yoga teachers how they face problems to conduct workshops and the teaching and going approaching people. Uh, so this is the pure platform to come and conduct courses so that they can approach as much as people they can. So and uh, in this online platform we conduct lot of course courses rather than yoga also calorie pay to mm. music art courses art and uh, farmers like millets like organic food okay. and we do have yoga products also as in like yoga mats we okay. have so this is about a life is craft life is craft great so you know before we get into more of life is craft how did you how did yoga happen to you so uh, well uh, before that, I was totally not into that field. I was from, I'm coming from designing, extreme of the, okay. you know, totally opposite, opposite of yoga. Right. But uh, as you say, like, you know, two extremes meet and then it creates a balance in life. So when I started practicing yoga for myself and then I found that it's a pure uh, good way to start a very balanced life. Yeah. So that's why I started teaching yoga after practicing a lot. Like I've dedicated myself at least like 2.5 years in my ashram an organization and I'm a Hatha Yoga teacher so yeah I started teaching in the ashrams and other organizations like RBI, SBI like employees for them and retired people and I teach Chennai for the BTEC students and uh, faculties over there wherever I get chance to spread out the word about yoga, yoga. Yes. so you know you are so much connected to yoga and you know the power of it how it could heal your mind so people who are not up for it not ready for it how difficult is it for you to you know how challenging is it for you to pitch it to them first exactly um, well that is the main point where you put yourself in that uh, you know platform where you have to justify a lot what is yoga uh -huh. to make them convinced like why yoga like you know I do a lot of physical exercise all that stuff but then there's a very subtle point in yoga where people have to practice then only they get to understand yeah. this is yeah. not something theory it is beyond the theory yeah. so yeah. for me the challenge is to make them come into that platform at least practice 30 minutes yeah. even if you're not able to afford 45 minutes at least 30 minutes practice but to convince them to come to that level that is a challenge and to put out all the theories of yoga and also that is the challenge of it. that is absolutely challenging <laughs> so nandini what is one business tip that you'd like to give to our women entrepreneurs out there well, uh, to be very honest, I am uh, more of like compassionate person, right? So I feel surrender, uh -huh. surrender to the process. Once you surrender to the process, yes, there are a lot of tricks and techniques. You meet a lot of wonderful people, a lot of wonderful females out there where, who encourages you, empowers you. So, But surrender the process. Surrender. You will get to that process. I'm still walking towards that. Let's see how it goes. So Nandini is in the journey. She's walking. And I'm sure you are going to uh, spread the importance of yoga in many more corporates, academic institutions. And very good luck to you. Thank you. So Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you.